we are looking out over Park, Park Point, I believe. There's a high bridge down there. There's the bay. It's a beautiful sight. Standing up on top of Rick's house. There's the bridge down there. The boats come in and out. Bottom middle of the hotel below. We'll look out on the lake and our sailboats out here. It's a nice evening in July. Actually, it says 6:40 p.m., but it's really 7:40 p.m. To look out over the city, it's really a beautiful sight up here. Here's Antenna Tower over on the right. Looking out over Rick's roof. All the antennas in the city are up there. It's actually 741, it's not 641. This clock is set for daylight savings time. So here we are moving along. Beautiful sights of the loop. Could we see Grandpa's house from here? I don't think we can see Grandpa's house from here. Now I'm going to show you one of the most beautiful sights in the loop. There she is, my Princess Jennifer. Look at that smile. Oh. Stuffed into your teeth. <laughs> That's the most beautiful sight in all of Duluth. What That's about mom? She's the other beautiful sight in all of Duluth. And those are my two most beautiful sights. But we'll take pictures from out here on the deck. We're going to look down from Rick's deck here. Oh, I'm afraid of height. Whoa. Take my camera back up. And we'll take it out over the city again. Zoom out to Park Point. Well, if you liked our other show, you're really going to like this one. This starts out with a, a panoramic view of Duluth from Rick's porch, and then we move right into a, a, a tour of the house on 2102 East 3rd. So stay tuned, and we'll have a great time. Bye. What's up, going? Hey, I'm a star. What's going on, Jen? Tim, what's that there? Hi. Hi, Tim. He's gonna take the tree. Yeah. What does the tree say? Take. It says, Jenny plus Tim plus Lori was here. Five twenty-eight ninety-two. We love you, Grandma and Grandpa. Let me get a little closer to that. Say my mom to Marble Hell. Jennifer was the one who had the knife. So here's the tree outside of Grandma's house, huh? There's Grandma's house. Okay, here's Grandma and Grandpa's house. 2102 East 3rd. Right? Tell me about the house, Tim. What? Tell me about the house. The house? Uh, Grandpa died in it. It was built... Yeah, this was built in 1906. It was first a uh, big house all together. It has three floors and a basement and an attic. And the... Here we are on Terminal 2 East 3rd again. <laughs> Here we are. And there's Mary Melville. Mary Melville. <laughs> Look at her waving. She's got a drinking problem. She's drinking. <laughs> Too much co er, uh, Pepsi.
Those are my little boys and their mommy. How happy are you? Danny? Hey Tim, how happy are you? Tell me about the house, Jen. This is the fire escape that you climbed up there when you were a little baby, isn't it? Yeah, and the one I was laughing at you guys on. <laughs> well, I think your guy was built in 1906. And this is all one big house. And then uh, someone changed into two apartments for upstairs because I guess they retired and they wanted to make money or something. I know. And let's see. I know. <laughs> you more you know more history about it than I do. Is that grandpa's birdhouse up there? Yeah. On that pole? By that big tree? Here's Grandpa's raspberry patch over here. What kind of raspberries has Grandpa got there, Jen? Red. Red? They're good ones, huh? Yeah. They are delicious. Or a bit of pink radish. Where are the ripening strawberries, Jen? Where are they? Ripening? There's a side of Grandpa's yard over here with all the trees and bushes and stuff he has yeah. coming all the way down. Actually, the tree's kind of covering it. Get <laughs> all this stuff in here. Great big rhubarb stuff here. Oh, Had real nice flowers up there. to the back of the house. And there's the breakfast window. <laughs> Everybody come here and have their breakfast. Eat everything. <laughs> there's the McShane's place upstairs and the third floor apartment. Over on the bottom left here, that's Eric's room down there. That used to be my room and Eddie's room. And Your room? Yeah. Well, I stayed here for a while. Mom and I got married. See, this is the heater that Grandpa and I put in a wall over there. Falling through a lot of concrete to get to that one. <laughs> hey, there's a door over there. I didn't notice that. And here's Jenny's fire escape that she climbed up to the top of. Oh my goodness, look at that, how high it is. Was I like two years old? Holy smokes. And down, all the way down to the bottom of the fire escape. Is this Eric's motorcycle? And that's Eric's. There's our car. There's, There's a the garage. garage behind us. Right in the right rear corner, our first, that faces 21st Street, that's where a, a car came crashing down the hill and crashed into the garage. How? Our grandpa's car. How did it come crashing down the hill? Well, it came off, it was being towed. It came off the tow thing and ran into the garage. This is the uh, first I got here on the There's my bumper hitch that I bought to take everything home from the estate sale in. The house. Here's the house across the street on 21st Avenue. Here's the house across 21st Street. 
catch all of it. Right. So most of it. <laughs> catch the front fork. You can catch the truck. Catch all the cars coming up and down looking for a step. <laughs> Busy street. Beautiful house. Okay, and now we got the front of the house. Way up higher on the house. And we got a car making a lot of noise. I love to live in that house. There's more shots of the yard. Another shot of my tiger lilies over here. And then, another shot of the most beautiful thing in Duluth. Jennifer. And Mom Hill. Hill. Or, and Mom. And Mom. The other most beautiful thing in Duluth. Okay, say goodbye. Bye. And here we walk into the house and catch Tim eating again. Walk in. I'm hungry. Desk. Remnants. There's Pat drinking. He's got a drinking problem again. Here's Mom. I know. This place is a mess. What happens with you? Okay, there's a dresser as it sits in Grandma's room. An ironing board just like home. And the bandy said that me and our mom is going to fight over. And we have the rest of Grandma and Grandpa's room here, what's left of it. And some of these slick hats up in the closet, and some of these good leisure suits nobody wanted in the garage sale. So. And the bandy set me and Mama thing over. And here we have the other most beautiful thing in the loop here. And what else have we got here? Oh, there's the portable phone there. Hey, and the see that there. side. Here's the sun porch. Walking out onto the sun porch. And we have not a whole lot out here but some sun. <laughs> of course, it was kind of a cloudy day. There is some sun left. Oh, we got some insulation here, too. And we got a canvas top. I feel like Vinny making a movie here. Hey, look. Oh, and here's some slick. Oh, those are pedal pushers Mom found. She's treasuring them. They're old. <laughs> oh, she's skirt. Oh, boy. A size 18. <laughs> you can grow into that one. <laughs> As we walk into the house. My face cannot show. My face cannot show. I repeat. Let me see into the hallway here where we came in, the great entryway. My the dining room set. The dining room set that was here. In my wonderful hand. All the great woodwork in the house here. Show the ceiling and the lamp. The dining room table. Yeah. Show the ceiling. I will do. The famous window seat. Windows around the house and the drapes. All the nice cherry wood. Okay. Here we have the dining room set. And the rest of the dining room. Walk through to the kitchen. To the kitchen doors. And here we have the sink. <laughs> the kitchen sink. And the countertop. Show them how much it's worth, John. And we see the glasses and stuff. And where the cabinets were. Oh, and the microwave. <laughs> My wonderful hand. Okay, here's where we took down a nice white shelf that we got in whatever room. I think it's going to be in Jenny's room. Yeah. Nice. And here's the radiator in the kitchen. There's the window to the outside world. There's the ducks in the yard and the house this next door. This is the kitchen. 
These are the views. Strength. The views of the loot. The views that we loved. Mm -hmm. My wonderful mm -hmm. hand. Mm -hmm. And here's the area that Mary messed up the floor so many times in buttering bread and toast and stuff and wine. And here in the famous refrigerator. Well, in this refrigerator, we have some surprises. Can you kids open the door for me in this refrigerator? Oh, okay. there's food! Uh, if we take a look down in here real good, we will see some green Thomas's English muffins. No. <laughs> look at the green texture and the green <laughs> flavor on those muffins. Wow. <laughs> That's some good stuff, boy. <laughs> Penicillin out of that. <laughs> okay, it was so much for this refrigerator tour. Hi. I'll take a walk into the hallway here. If I could get some light. Oh, that's all right, Jim. We got enough. Okay. We got Jenny by the door here. <coughs> Here's one of the famous bathrooms and toilet seats. Jacob's bathroom. Okay. Look at this bathroom. Have you ever seen a blue toilet seat like that? Yes, it's this very comfortable. Provided hours of comfort and enjoyment for the entire family. And, and Jenny looks so cute in there. <laughs> but, uh, this wasn't a whole lot of room for Ed and his dad when they were in here together, but uh, yeah. it was a great place. Yeah. Oh yeah, and there I found a great nose hair clipper I gave to Ed. <laughs> He said he never used one in his life. And it was obvious. <laughs> let's let's move on down to the other uh, bedroom here, the the Teresa Wasaki bedroom. First she was Teresa Jacob when she was part of this household. We well, come into this room here, and oh my goodness, we got louver door closets. Purple! Lisa was big on cards because we have a big card table here in her room. She didn't do a whole lot of sleeping. She must have been an insomnia. <laughs> she didn't even have mattresses. <laughs> Let's see what kind of clothes from the 70s we have in the closet over here. Um, they're all sold out. Well, my goodness, the cupboard is bare. <laughs> And here we have this beautiful flower textured wallpaper. Well, it's not my style. <laughs> There's the view out the front window of the beautiful cars parked on 3rd Avenue. And here's the famous Jacob's door knocker. See, it works. <laughs> well, next, go into the pink bathroom, one of the mainstays of the house. I'll be right back. We're walking into the famous pink bathroom of the Jacobs household. And here are the famous shower doors. Many a person has been locked behind these glass doors <laughs> at a call for help. <laughs> here we go. We don't have the famous decorator so, towels. What did Susie do? I did three times. We didn't have the famous decorator towels that uh, to help everybody. But, uh, hey, I got locked in here. Be ever so humble, there's been a lot of good people locked up in this uh, prison here, in this bathroom. <laughs> and Susie. And there's been Susie, there's been Mom, there's been Pat. Pat. There's been just about everybody. Oh, what a handsome looking mean? guy this is in a mirror over here with this camera. What can I say? <laughs> the famous pink tiles. And in here. The, the, famous the flushes <laughs> is only a half gallon of water. <laughs> this was put together by Grandpa Jacob. Oh, look at that swirly. <laughs> you never see anything like it. You can already rinse your hair in that one. <laughs> oh, that was a good one. Okay, well, let's back it off. We'll go in Mom's old room. Empty toilet paper roll. That's not unusual at all these people. We'll back right on down and we'll go into this other room, this Aunt Liz's room. And Mom's. And Mom's. And Aunt Kathy's. And all the girls who ever lived here before. To all the girls who lived here before. <coughs> who traveled in and out of my door. And they knew I couldn't sing. You could uh, see the... Da -da 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 -da. Well, we can see the famous 
The loop atmosphere out of the windows of this room. This was a great room for sleeping if you didn't mind noise. If you were a deaf person, this was great. <laughs> plenty of fresh air, plenty of noise, plenty of window noise, plenty of car sounds. Twenty-four-seven <laughs> But it was a great room. Raised many a fine woman. Come in. And as we look out, we spy on the neighbors across the street. <laughs> Zoom right into their living room here. And oh gosh, better back up on that one. <laughs> they weren't expecting us. What was it? So we'll just sort of back out of this room here and let Jennifer close the shades. You did a great job there, Jennifer. Oh, we'll walk into the famous walk-in closets over here. And we'll see ourselves in the mirror. Oh, what a good one, what a good one, what a good one. And there's an uh, empty hook on a wall. Walking back in. Some of the famous old-time furniture. And there we have it, friends, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, I never did take a picture of the beautiful fireplace first of all couches in the way but this is a nice fireplace it's got a green hearth on the floor black marble front we should be going and gigantic mirror what a tour ladies and gentlemen what a tour and here's where we got those wonderful encyclopedias they've been here for a hundred years these are guaranteed to let us flunk any school <laughs> exam and we got them here we are on July 15th, 1992, and we're lucky enough to have them. Hope the kids will make it through high school okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, do you want to go where we got in the house today? Oh, uh, yes. I can give you a demonstration. Okay, we'll follow Miss Malta Hill. Actually, Peg Bunny, Miss Peg Bunny. Come on, Rose. <laughs> Now, this house has been secured since uh, <laughs> it isn't anymore. they've closed up for the estate sale. And this house has been completely and totally foolproofly locked so that nobody could ever enter this house. Except me. But it took my children a matter of <laughs> a few seconds here. And they found this trap door in the hallway here. And look at her get through that. And before you know it, she's through. She's coming around. And she opens the door. Yay! Well, we don't need a key. We got a Jenna key. Well, we need a key for this door. Okay. Say goodbye now, and Bye. let's close the door. And oh, aren't we going downstairs? Well... Yeah, we should take a trip downstairs, down memory lane here. Ray, we're supposed to be at Donna's in 10 minutes. Well, okay. We'll hurry up. We'll get there, right, but I'm filming you. Do you want to smile? <laughs> well, here we go up our, <coughs> the street where Mom used to live. We're going to the infamous fort. We're going, we just turned up a street called Fairmont. It's kind of a bumpy street. The street's supposed to be summer. Something. This is where Mom grew up when she was a pup. <laughs> this is the house right here. And this okay, is the house over here on the right where she grew up. Somerset Avenue. This it? No, not this one. Not this no. one. Okay, past the sob here. They've kind of let the yard overflow so. here. All right, Ray. Okay. Wait a minute. That is the house. Well, holy. They must have stripped it since... Uh, holy we smokes, the paint has stripped up the house. That is the house. Gosh. Gosh. And my bedroom used to... Oops, I'm sorry. My bedroom used to be up there. Oh, um, there's Mom's bedroom up there. Isn't this interesting? What were you talking about? What, about your paper route, Mom? Well, Uncle Eddie had a paper route. Now, we used to just go through the woods here. See, Bob? Well, That's why you had to get those stupid glasses. People that lived there were called the Baylisses. <laughs> well, the Baylisses lived over here. Yeah, they used to let us play in their um, attic of their garage because they had older girls and they let us play with their dolls sometimes. Get down here, stuff. 
Well, here's Hartley Field, the ski trail. The license is required. Okay, here we start on our dangerous trek through the woods. The boys just ran all the way up. Here's Jenny picking flowers. She's going to be trip. 11 tomorrow. Hey, yeah. Just wait up there. Okay, here we go up this dangerous trail. It's not now. dangerous trail. This is through the fort. Planning on growing up tomorrow? <laughs> Through the woods. Poison ivy ones? No, it's not poison ivy. What are they? They're pretty. Okay. Well, she says we're halfway, but I don't know. I'm climbing over boulders and everything to get here. And there they are. Wait, where are we? I have no idea. <coughs> Let's tell them this is the fort, Mary. I ain't coming all the way down there and back up again. Well, we don't have to come back up. Oh, to Holy smokes. Watch the moss after it's slippery. God, I think your mother grew up in a jungle, Jennifer. Look at this. Well, let's walk over this way. I think this is... Whoa, are you sure you're on this is poison ivy? Jungle. Well, here we are coming up on a path to this beautiful fort. <laughs> and We're going down the path. This is Fort Mary Kay. This is where mom held off the Indians when she was a girl. Oh my gosh! You mean this isn't it? Climb all the way down there. Pat was going to climb all the way down there. Pat, don't be crazy. Hey, Pat, 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 be careful. Don't ever go down there again. You, you slap and we're going to have to call some rescue people because I'm not going to do I think Pat is crazy. Look at that down there. Huh? I had never even put my foot out. Well, one little slip and we're out of help here. I mean, this isn't it, Mark. I mean, this isn't the fort yet. That's what you've been telling me for the last two miles. You know, I got handicapped plates in a car here, Mark. I got handicapped plates in a car. I don't need this. I just been through a jungle safari. Look at this giant fort here. I 
thought it was up here. Huh? I thought it was up here. Look at the edges of the fort. Point them out, Mayor. Here, I'm on the world. Look at this fort. Look at the walls of this thing. Like my brother said, the kids knocked it down. Isn't this pretty up there? Can you see the lake? They pulled in the creek. Right? Can you see the lake? Yeah, where are you? Yeah. You see the lake? It's the big building down there. I think that's Lodge Springs School, but I'm not sure. Hey! In the middle. No, I didn't see. What's this for? Huh? What's this for? Lake's huh? over that way. Huh? Lake's over that way. Okay. Hey, did you guys find our initials on the rock? Why don't you guys carve your initials in here? And do it oh. real hard so you can come back what? someday and find it. A rock. 25 years, but remember where you put it. <laughs> Get a sharp rock. Here's a heart. Here's a silly. That's not. I didn't want you to find that one with her and I. Find a sharp rock. <coughs> <There's something laughs> See this box here? That's what you need is a sharp rock. That's all. Why don't you do it over here? Here's another one. You gotta do it real hard. But where? Hey, Mama, I see a heart. Well, that's because this is Hartley Field. That's why you find hearts. Well, Mara, here you are on the wall of your fort. Your feet even touch the ground from the top of the wall. That's the high <laughs> point of the wall, too. Well, I did when I was little, too. Yeah. yeah but there was no grass here. Where was your bathroom here in the woods? On the rock. Oh, no. Oh, no, great. Oh, That's okay. why all this yellow stuff... Well, here you are covering your initials into the snow here. And when you're 35 and snow. 37 snow. years That's old, snow. you'll be able to come back like we did 25 years later. And not find it. And not find this. But you'll know that, you know, according to this, you're straight up from home plate at the baseball diamond down there. If that's still there in 25 years. There comes Pat hiking up the hill here. You can see mine right there. What are you, date? Uh, oh. I'm only on the date, and I'm not even finished Jen, with put it. your birthday date on there. July 17th? Date. Yeah, tomorrow's date. Okay. Well, I've got July 16th on the camera here. Oh, do you? I'm going to put July 17th because that's my birthday and tomorrow's my birthday. Ah! Well, there's Jennifer Marvahill's initials right by Tim's big foot there. <laughs> my so wonderful foot. And then we'll move down here. And there's Tim's initials. Carved in the rock here. From Jenny's initials. We move up to the crew on the rock. There's the rock of mom. And there mom. Just step back about 20 feet. Oh, thank you, dear. <laughs> I love you, too. <laughs> what are we going to do, mom? Hey, Mary? Um, can you move the uh, basket of flowers so I can read the tombstone? some of those flowers there, Jen?
Yeah, I'm gonna go, well, but I'm gonna, I wanna go back up to that hill and, and dig up the field of wild. Those are wild. Is it because that's on the home now? Yeah. Oh. But they're not wild. This is our old house at uh, 20 something Butte. 2324, right? 2324 Butte. Here's the front. That was our second floor porch in front of the house. At night, it looked like a haunted house sometimes with bats flying by in the summer. But, uh, One time, Dad and I came home. Matter of fact, when we came here to rent it, we saw bats flying by. This is a real old time truck that somebody's got there. Whoa, says it's a oh, that was our back porch up there. Yeah. Our kitchen was at That's quite big, actually. It was, it was a house. real big apartment. Our bathroom had a Jenny, today is your 12th or 11th birthday. Yeah. So let's sing happy birthday to Jenny. Wait a minute. Before we do. Come on, hurry up. I'm running out of battery. Okay. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Jenny. Happy birthday to you. Okay. You made your wish and everything? Yeah. What'd you wish for? I can't tell. You can't tell. I'll come. Can she I? wished for a boy to come up. I bet you. Do you want to come? No. No. Wait a minute. Before yeah. she does. Say happy birthday to Katie, too. Now, what did you get for your birthday so far? Your well, I got this mood ring. From I got who? from Tim. A mood ring? Is that something new? That's me. No. <laughs> I got this outfit. Wow.
which was wet. <laughs> Happy birthday. Sure you want some coffee? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, sure. Uh, yeah, sure. But Tim was real good in the restaurant tonight. He didn't flinch when the guy spilled ice water down his shirt and pants. He just kept eating his pizza. What a guy, huh? Like nothing happened. <laughs> okay, Jeff. What does it say? It says happy birthday to me. Show me those. What? My boots are. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know they're comfortable. I'm not going to take you all winter and all summer. No, don't. What? I'm not going to take you all summer and winter. This one from? This Pat is Tim. from Pat and Tim. Hey, no, you are going to open it. No, I'm not going to open it. No, no. Okay, come on. Tim open it. Put Notice the ribbon. Pat put a big run and Tim did the bow. Notice the ribbon. Yeah, that is good. so wonderful. Yes. I think it should be put in a... I think it should be put in a frame. Yes, yes, yes. Now, from 
my hair. Tim, I want to open them. Open them like, oh, Tim, you could put it in that little curl you've got in the back of your head. It's for my tail. Let's turn around and let's see your tail, Tim. Cool. It is wonderful. It is what? Oh, it, awesome. it, it curls to the left and it curls cool to the right. Cool shirt, dude. Yeah. I got these are really good. Ah, maybe I could have Tim do a BB gun and turn more. Awesome. Far out. Yeah, far out. I think it's a really good. <laughs> Groovy. Then I don't know if that's. Size fits all. It's a large, but I'm not sure about the pants. Does that mean it I can like wear it? like baseball pants. No. <laughs> but you, you should try it huh. on so I can take it back. Um, the side of the show. What, these? Mm -hmm. Yeah. These aren't oh, pants, these computer. are shorts. Okay, Jen, well, give your well, brothers a big kiss for your birthday present. You, know. you like them, Jen? Yeah. She's uh, killing me. I am dying. Yes. Yes. And does your mother have good taste? Great taste. Yeah, I was feeling great taste. It's smart Alec. That's filling taste. Well, yeah. come on, let's give your brothers a hug and a kiss and then let's not. No. Come on. I'll pass on it. Tim, 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 Tim. Let her do it. No. Let her do it. She's done it enough times already. Oh. Hey, 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 hey. Mercy. Not in the lampshade over. Okay. We're going to play Mercy for it. No. Yeah. Okay, well, happy birthday. We're going to go around Uncle Jim okay. and play Pictionary. Okay? Yeah, right. I'm not in Bye. the way. Bye-bye. <laughs> Everything? Mm-hmm. Oops. Uh-oh. I threw your ring out the window. You're going to have a hard time choosing what you want to wear tomorrow, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> nice, fun <Santa. laughs> Very becoming. What? Because they have the elastic right here. I don't know. Look at my beautiful mood ring. Yes, yes, yes. What, what shirts do I have to go You know how to make that in the earrings and in your ears, huh? Especially this bright one over here. Like these shorts? Okay. Or the pink shorts. Not fact like you're from the gay liberation movement. <laughs> <laughs> they all have shorts. You're not really taping this, are you? Why? I'm going to show it at school. Why? Why do I have to be what terrified? Is, is Mary. Oh, Hi, Ray. Okay. I just thought I'd take a picture of him before you get into your deep philosophical <laughs> talk here. And then, how are you today? Hi, Ray. Just hi. I got to date this oh, so that I know when I'm going to with the wine, but <laughs> This She's is where I smell all the wine. She's been filling her glass. She's been filling her glass every time it's in. Two cameras. Oh, oh, it's my bottle. Oh, no, okay. camera on camera. Now we have dueling cameras here. Ah. <laughs> I got you, Teresa. I've got you right. No, I'm okay. zooming in. I'm zooming out. <laughs> Who do we got? Oh, we're done.
We're going to age this event, Neil, and guess what? It's not a big event. This is a little bit smaller. Well, it's the same, almost the same. Okay. Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh. She was faster than you. I wish it was that fast. There we have the bishop women. Huh? The Lee Pack woman here. The Lee Pack bishop. Yeah. Lee Pack bishop. There, there's Lee Pack bishop. Bishop Lee Pack. Bishop Lee Pack. There we have Jacob's uh, bishop. Jacob's yeah. bishop. Peterson. bishop. <laughs> <laughs> Peterson, Peterson. Is this uh, yours? There's a blanket on <laughs> you. Do you want to get up? Pat. Now we have a ghost. The pink blob. Oh, there's a little body coming out of there. That's the raspberry ripple. Raspberry ripple? Jim, tell us about the rules of the game. There are no rules. When you play with the mobiles and my wife, there are no rules. You make up your own as you play it. We just make up the rules. Right. It makes the game make go by faster. Go. <laughs> Tim, what's your idea of the rules? No rules. No rules. Okay. That's right. No Trees. rules next time. No rules, right, Trees? No rules are good rules, right? No rules, Pete. Teresa, I'm inventing a new game. I'm just going to put a big sheet in there. New game, invent your own. Make your own rules. Sounds like a fun game. Well, that's where you guys play Monopoly and Fiction here. It's like Calvin. Uh, Calvin Ball. Make up your own rules as you go, Calvin and Hobbes. Make up your own rules as you go. Here, there's Mom. We call it Jim Ball. How old are you? You have to smile. Okay. Is that a, is that a model sure, below Teresa's? How old are you? It's an older fingers? version, yeah. How many fingers? Looks like and it's longer. I only longer. bought it three months ago. It's outdated already. It looks like it's longer. It is. Stay to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. a tour of your garden? Okay, where would you like to start? Over here? What have you got over here? Sharp-looking begonias. And what else you got there? You're gonna have to talk up. <coughs> oh yeah. Okay. Now what else you got? Where'd you get those wonderful boxes back there? What did you do? Hold on. The boys put in a flower bed last year? This one. Was this the start of it all? Yeah, this was the 
Then what well, happened? No, we did the wrong one first. Did the wrong one first, yeah. We put in this clementis vine. Mm -hmm. And uh, so this year we put in bleeding hearts for mom and dad. Everything's growing wild in here. Do you remember the... Uh, the real pretty white mum that we bought in April or May? Do you recall it? Is that it there? Is it here? For the size of it. Where's the white flowers? Well, they come out in the fall. Oh. Or August. And this is the new flower bed that the boys dug so lovingly up for mom this year. This whole flower bed? Yeah. Holy smokes. Goes on forever. How much did this free love cost Dad? A lot. A lot. It wasn't cheap. But many of these things will come back. There are a lot of premiums in here. These are Joseph's coats. We have um, lilies and dahlias. And are those lilies of the valley? No. What are they? They lilies. The screen fell in again. Um, and this nice little flower will come back next year. This is a perennial. It's white thing. Oh, that's nice. Why don't you just put a whole bunch of those in there? I can't remember. Uh, that's free. I can't remember what you call it. And uh, take a sample in and get it. That's we, okay. Just cut it in half next year and put it in two places. This is one that we put in this year. This will come back. This is called a lamb's ear, and it's real pretty. Uh, Looks like about the size of a sheep, huh? Yeah, I know. It, it looked like a baby lamb when we put it in. This is a real pretty flower. I thought it was a weed and almost tore it out. It's very pretty. I'd like to get more of those. And these are Victorian uh, blue um, silver. Those are. Those are. Africa. Well, Jesus, Miss Small of a Hill, this garden seems to go on forever. How far does it go? About 40 feet. And we put in a climbing rose. It has yet to bloom, but I have high hopes yet. And this thing is a free annual, but it's kind of uh, taken over the house. Hmm. These, are, these are plants that I brought in this winter, or last fall. You see this? They have blossomed. Three plants. Far out. And we have their uh, the wee willy dianthus or something. Oh, the wee willy. Oh, okay. Virginia. Got a lot of different kinds. Of you think we're gonna put this on channel 11 on the educational TV? Yeah, right. I think we've done the. Uh, what is that show on Saturday mornings, The Garden, Victory Garden or something? Yeah. yeah. Well, have Al Davila or whatever his name, Bob Davila. <laughs> <laughs> These <coughs> geraniums we have had, I believe, for three or four years now. Maybe three. But they survived the winter well. No, I bring them in. Something's been in here. Well, moving right along here, what else have we got here, Mrs. Molly? Oh, we have different plant we didn't have last year called the purple robe. And there's a real pretty dahlia here. It's kind of lost his flowers though, but there's a whole bunch of them ready to open up. And another clementis vine. And I have lavender silva. This is a perennial and it's full of bumblebees. Check it out. This Where are they? It's quite not the bumblebees. Oh, good <laughs> This plant is supposed to attract uh, hummingbirds, but I think they made a mistake because they you know, attract bees. This is a new plant, too, and I can't think of the name of it. Sorry about that. There's some other ones in here called the gazinia. It's down there. They're just kind of flowers right now. And this, this little thing caused us a great deal of aggravation. And we ought to buy that. We up our car. 
That was on April 24th, wasn't it? Yeah. <coughs> That's a star magnolia. Hopefully next spring it will be worth it. And then we have uh, Virginia and Moss Roses. So that was a lot of work. The boys complained a lot, but they did a good job. Okay, Miss Mo. Well, I understand you've got some other things here too. Around bed? Huh? Oh, you got a round bed. There is the round bed, and it's got a lot of the other same junk in it. What about your same uh, junk? Nah. Well, this is the first one we did. This is three years now that we've done this one, because this year will be here four years in August. And, then and you have a vegetable garden, don't you? Yeah. But on the patio, we have a few more very good flowers. We have pots of geraniums, and we have hanging ivy geraniums, and we have house When we moved to this house, there was nothing okay, in did this. Those Afghans, did you grow those too? Yeah, you need to give a miracle grow. The rose beds have had some trouble with that. Some bug made lace on these plants, but hopefully they'll be free. This is from Grandpa's garden. This is a. Uh, Yeah, look at this. Good stuff. Look at this. It's like, yeah. see that? Did you spray the whole thing? Yeah. Real heavy? No, you just have to like check it as it goes on. There's the thing if you want to spray some more. That's a graphic or something. These should be a very beautiful dahlia. The flowers might be pretty, but the uh, bumps are even leaves. Pot of Virginia. And we have more ferns from the From the ferns from some? Yeah, from the ferns from Okay, well let's see what you've got around the corner here. I see it's real exciting here. I've heard it is. It's the most exciting garden, vegetable garden, we've had this year. Sounds like another one of those compliments like you'll be the prettiest bride there. Where do you think I am? Just a. <laughs> <laughs> we have heads of lettuce. We have celery. We have cucumbers, which you have not tied up yet. And we have, look at these tomatoes. Yeah, green tomatoes up there. You know how tall these are? We should stake these too. And we have leaf lettuce. Tomatoes. What are those things in the back that are so big? Those are my. Oh, your water those, these are strawberries. And this is what started the whole thing was to put in some raspberries. So we put in 10 raspberry plants, nine made it through the winter. But I think we're going to have to open up more of the yard. And we brought some from Grandpa's garden. We have some raspberries here. However, I don't know if this is a raspberry. It uh, looks like it. You know, I think we're coming to the close of the show, Mrs. Mulvey. Oh, so I just had a feeling we're running out of tape here. Well, look at this, though. Check out these strawberries. Look at that. Wow. These are still curling on the leaves, too. But you can close the show. We had dinner out of here tonight. Did you eat that right off the plant? No. Why is that all over here? What'd you do? Hmm? How come this is all over here? Oh, I don't know. Some... Now, now, this is one of the things Jenny's culturing. She's supposed to be trimming, but hasn't done it yet. But she, she has quite a bit of work to do out here. Hmm. You better get going, too. Oh, well, Mrs. Mulvihill, I'd like to close out by saying thank you for showing us around your garden. Oh, you're welcome. And, and uh, join us again 
next year for Victory Garden. Okay. And Victory is because it grew so well. Thank you. Spraying on there. Mm -hmm. What you spraying on your bugs there. Yeah. What are you spraying on there now? Definitely, there's something really chewing the hell out of something. I'm, you're on camera here. That's why I'm. Uh, I'm not going to do this road at Denver. Yours almost smells like saddle soap. Okay. Well, I'm going to go.